Hi everyone! Welcome to our learning activity video on Senior High School Statistics and Probability. We are now in Quarter 3, Week 1, D, and Enrichment Activity. For the objective, the learner illustrates a probability distribution for a discrete random variable and its properties. For the enrichment activity, directions construct a probability distribution for the data and draw a histogram of the distribution. Remember, for a probability distribution, in order for a certain variable to, to have its probability distribution, it should be property 1 should be satisfied that all the probabilities are between 0 and 1, including 0 or including 1. And also, another one is the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. Let's start with number 1. The probabilities that a surgeon operates on 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7 patients in one day are the given 15% for 3 patients a day. Then we have 20% for 4 patients, 5 patients, we have its probability 25%, 6 patients, we have 20% probability, and 7 patients per day, we have 20% probability. So we construct now the probability distribution table. In this row, we have the number of patients a surgeon operates in one day, and we call it X. And another row, probability P of X. So we have for three patients, its probability is 0 0.15. For patients, P of 4 is 0 0.20. For 5, P of 5 is 0 0.25. P of 6, we have 0 0.20. Then P of 7 is 0 0.20. Now, before we move on to our histogram, we have to identify first the class boundaries of a random variable x. So, for every x. So, we copy in the previous slide the values of x, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and its corresponding p of x given here in this column, the third column. Now, how to get the class boundaries of the random variable x for x equals 3? We just have to subtract 0 0.5 from 3. That becomes 2.5. And we have to add also 3 plus 0 0.5. That's 3.5. So, the class boundaries of x equals 3 is 2.5 to 3.5. The class boundaries of x equals 4 is from 3.5 to 4.5, x equals 5 is from 4.5 to 5.5, x equals 6 is from 5.5 to 6.5, and x equals 7 is from 6.5 to 7.5. We are now ready to have a histogram for the random variable x with a given probability. So this is supposed to be a straight line. So, it should be equally spaced. So, the pink line is a space. Then, we have here this line. This means we truncated part of this line. We started from zero, of course. Then, there are still values from zero going to the right, positive values, before we can start with this point, 2.5. So, that's the reason why we have this truncation of the line. Then, we move on to this part. This is what we call the class boundaries of a random variable x, where x is the number of surgery patients. Then moving forward or upward here are the probabilities of the values of x. So it should be equally spaced. In this case, the spacing here is 0 0.5, then 0 0.10. So the spacing from 0 going here is 0 0.5 or 5%, then 10%, 15%, 20%, and 25%. Okay. So, probability of x. We have here the label for 
the horizontal axis, and also the vertical one. Now, the histogram here, for x equals 3, 3 is in the middle here, and that's why we have its class boundaries. As reflected in the previous table, we have x equals 3, the probability is 15%. For x equals 4, four patients, four, sur four surgery patients in one day, the probability is 20%. Five patients in a day, the probability is 25%. And for six or seven patients in a day, its prob corresponding probability is 20% or 0 0.20. So this is the histogram for surgery patients. For number two, we have the probabilities that a customer buys two, three, four, five, or six items in a convenience store are given respectively so we move on to the solution we are to construct a probability distribution table it is still the same table as in the first problem we just change the number of items a customer buys in a convenience store x here instead of surgery patients still we have probability of x and for two items the probability is 0 0.32 three items 0 0.12 for four items we have 0 0.23 and for five items we have 0 0.18 six items 15 percent or 0 0.15 so if you notice here properties of a probability di distribution function are satisfied first all the values are between 0 and 1 fractional values or decimal values and if you sum this up, 0.32 plus 0.12, that's 0.5. And this one, 0.23, uh, 0.32 plus 0.12, that's 0.44. And then we have, now let's do this like this, 0.32 plus 0.18, that's 0.5. Then 0.12 plus 0.23, that's 0.35 plus 0.15, another 0.5. Sum up to 1. So we have here... The table reflecting x, the class boundaries of x, and the p of x. Going back, so we have here, how did we get 1.5 to 2.5 from 2? So, subtract 0 0.5 from 2, we have 1.5, and then add 0 0.5, we have 2.5. So, these are the class boundaries for the corresponding values of x. Okay. This is the needed column for the class boundaries in the construction of histogram. So item sold histogram, still the same. We have to, you have to draw a line. Make sure that a line is equally spaced. Then there's a truncation here in that part of the line because it should start always at zero. Then there are values here less than one. 0.5 but are greater than 0 so we don't need to identify those we just have to have a crooked line here that means it's truncated then we start with 1.5 2.5 and so on up to 6.5 then moving upward we have the probability for x in this case the given is not that uh, evenly distributed probability so it's not even by 5 or by whatever so 0.12, then we have 0.15, then 0 0.18, 0 0.23, and 0.32. So there is still like that, okay? So rest assured that these values are approximately well taken care of and they are equally spaced based from the previous histogram. So this is actually their, approximately their exact location on a real number line upward, okay? So this one, let's explain this. For x equals 2 items bought by a customer at a convenience store, the probability is 32%. Then, the probability that a customer can buy 3 items is 12%. The probability that a customer can buy 4 items is 23%. The probability that a customer can buy five items in, in a convenience store is 18%. And 
and the probability that a customer can buy six items is 15 percent so this is our histogram for this particular kind of problem and i have here some references there are three references i had so this is all for now and see you in the next video. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, kindly subscribe and please don't forget to like and share. And if you are a subscriber, you will be updated with more uploads for this learning activity videos. Thank you and always stay happy, healthy and safe.